There is a reason why Realme is the fastest growing smartphone brand in the world. While you may say that it's because their devices are affordable and easy to purchase, it's actually more than that. In case you haven't noticed, Realme has been releasing phones nearly every 3 months. When Realme 5i got introduced earlier this year, it got immediately succeeded by Realme 6i that offers significant improvements in performance. While there's no correlation between the Realme C15 and the 5i, it is replacing the price point of that phone at 6,990 pesos. Of course, this varies by country. But in the Philippines, since Realme 6i is retailing at a higher price point, no model replaced the 5i until C15 came in. With that in mind, how much phone are you getting in this refresh of some sort? I've been using this phone for quite a while now and the first thing that I notice is its heft. Thanks to that massive battery inside, this phone is now thick as heck. It's almost as heavy as my Galaxy Note 9. One hand operation is a stretch here. Unlike my time with a Realme 5i, which by the way also has the same screen size and body footprint as this phone, that was still manageable and comfortable to use. The back finish however is a bit different. The plastic material comes in blue and this grey finish that I have here. Though it looks textured, it actually feels smooth in my hand. And also this grey variant is more like solid silver. You really have to save it for yourself to appreciate. It's that good. Realme C15 still has that fingerprint scanner on the back along with a nearly flushed quad camera module. I do find the LED flash a bit weird as it's placed outside of the module. Nevertheless, I think Realme C15 is a low-key head turner. So what else? All ports are down at the bottom which includes the headphone jack, speaker grill and a micro USB port. The Xiaomi counterpart of this phone is already using USB-C at a lower price point, so I don't understand why Realme still opted for this old plug. But on the flip side, it now supports 18 watts fast charging. As for charging time itself, the experience isn't fast, but you can get from 0 to full in 3 hours flat. Mind you, this is a 6000mAh phone. Since we've talked about the battery, how does it perform in the real world? Well, just about any big battery phone. Since I'm mostly stuck at home, I use my phone from morning up until past midnight. While I can still drain this phone to zero due to my heavier than usual use case, it's impressive to see consistent 8 hours of screen time a day. That includes Wi-Fi connection all day, hours of podcast, and a few heavy gaming on the side. However, I don't suggest buying this phone for gaming. It can run casual games, but the touch response of the screen is a bit delayed for competitive gaming. Realme even set the default animation speed to fast to give that speedy impression. But the trained eyes can tell if the performance is truly great or tweaked. I suggest stepping up to the Redmi 9 that comes with a better screen, better performance, and better screen responsiveness should you wish for a budget gaming experience. With the Helio G35 at the helm for this device, it's just not suited for gaming. But I appreciate Realme putting in 4GB RAM and 64GB storage. One thing I need to mention though is the out of the box performance. After migrating everything to this phone, the performance was sluggish out of the box. It was literally lag city. But after a couple of charges, the device settled in and its performance was on par with the Snapdragon 665. But going back to this phone, I do want to talk about that screen. Again, it's the same as Realme 5i. We're looking at a 6.5 inches 720p IPS LCD with a small teardrop notch. There's a bit of green tinting but I don't think most of you will notice that. The peak brightness seems to reach above 400 nits which is enough to make this phone usable under broad daylight. But one thing that I immediately notice is the video quality of YouTube videos. For some reason, regardless if I choose 720p, the quality is just plain garbage. It's like I'm watching a 360p video. I even tested this phone and the Realme 5i side by side to know if I just got used to high quality panels but Realme 5i provided a better quality. 
However, I found out that YouTube via browser works fine. You can even push the resolution up to 4K, but I think 1440p is the sweetest spot if you want to get sharper videos than what this screen offers. Furthermore, I installed YouTube Vance to see if this is a widespread problem with Google. However, that app worked fine as well. All said, I think it has something to do with the integration of the YouTube app with this phone. But that's just me, let me know if you have encountered a similar problem. Lastly, we have cameras. Realme C15 is jumping on the squared camera trend to make it appeal to regular consumers. But don't be deceived, the cameras are almost the same as the ones found on the Realme 5i. We have a pair of 2 megapixel lenses for macro and depth, an 8 megapixel for ultra wide, and a slightly larger 13 megapixel sensor as your main shooter. The quality, I'd say, is neck and neck with the Realme 5i. It's just that the software processing here loves to over sharpen the images. Sometimes it tends to make the photos better, other times it's just too sharp. All this also applies to the 8 megapixel selfie camera. Unlike Realme 5i, this one has no 4K recording. On the flip end, I think this surely has better cameras than the Redmi 9. To sum up, Realme C15 is an almost refreshed Realme 5i. While it does carry a massive battery and fast charging, Realme couldn't include USB-C. And since Snapdragon 665 has no successor yet, Realme went with a MediaTek Helio G35 to make this phone appear new when upgraded. On top of all that, the retail box only includes the phone itself and the charger. There's no case, neither a pair of earphones. But there is a pre-installed screen protector, so that's still a nice bonus. So that's it for my Realme C15 review. If you want to see more videos like this, feel free to subscribe. As always, stay safe.